Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB Show 20. So we're going to take a look at the XP reward path. Probably my favorite thing. You know, you get a lot of good rewards just leveling up, playing the game. So let's see what we can end up getting this year in the XP reward path. So some of the stuff we're going to skip, especially if it's just regular packs. But level 5, Flashback and Legends, Craig Biggio. Who's this? <laughs> uh, Eddie Murray, Rob Nen, Eric Davis. Vida Blue, Joe Morgan, Babe Ruth, Dave Kingman, Christy Matthews. There's a lot of players here. John Franco, Willie Mays, Bob Feller, Ted Williams, Jimmy Fox, and Babe Ruth. So those are the legends and flashbacks. At level 10, you get an evolution pack. So these are new. These are pretty much rookie to prime series cards. If you guys remember those in MLB 16, I think it was. But all these cards right here, these four cards, they can get upgraded to diamond. So... You definitely want to pick someone that you, you want to upgrade and work towards and get them to a diamond. So we have Ivan Rodriguez right here. I guess it's pointless to see these stats because these are just their rookie cards. But you have Ivan Rodriguez, Dennis Eckersley, Eddie Matthews, and Carlos Gonzalez. So like I said, all these cards can get upgraded to diamond just by playing and using them. So it's definitely worth picking someone that you expect to use and want in your lineup. I think for me personally... Let me go back. For me personally, I think I'm going to start with Dennis Eckersley because I want to I wanna get those diamonds in my bullpen and just my rotation. I'm, my focus early on is pitching to get the diamonds in those. So Evolution, we're probably going to see. You'll probably be able to get all of these cards in this XP reward path. So level 15, gear up choice pack, just a gold equipment item. Then at level 25, a gold flashback and legends pack. So we have Oral Hershiser, 80 over, 84 overall, 83 Lee Smith, Nolan Ryan, Fergie Jenkins, Ron Guidry, Rich Gossage, a Cliff Lee, and a David Price. So these are all gold cards. I'm pretty, yeah, you can sell all these cards. So all these cards, they're pretty good early on. Then you get Stubbs. You get another one of these. Oh, this is a different one. Hmm. Oh, th this is a pitcher's one, and this is a hitter's one. So for hitters... We have Gary Carter, Chipper Jones, Rod Carew, Lou Gehrig, Mookie Betts, Miguel Cabrera, Ozzie Smith, and Stan Musial. Solid options right here. I'm not going to give advice for these because these you just pretty much go with team needs. But Chipper Jones, probably not bad getting that switch hitter right there early on. Then at level 40, classic. This is a new thing too. Classic diamond cards. This is a choice pack. So these are diamonds. From previous MLB The Shows. I think MLB The Show 17 and MLB The Show 18 is where these cards come from. Obviously, these first four are from 17. And then this one is from 18. But for me personally, I think I got to go with Alex Reyes. I remember using him in 17. He was pretty nasty. Got a 97 fastball, 84 slider, 80, 95 sinker, 88 changeup, and a 78 12 6 curve. 84 hit per 9, 91 K per 9, 64 walk per 9. I really like this Alex Reyes card. You have Gary Sanchez, diamond card, 101 power versus righties, 102 versus lefties, 50 vision. Great power numbers if you want that. Has silver tier defense, 49 speed. Then you have Victor Robles, pretty good contact numbers, 84 versus righties, 90 versus lefties, 97 speed, which is definitely pretty big. And he has diamond tier defense. So it's a nice option right there. Morton is also a really good card. A bullpen option. Has 89 hit per 9, 90 K per 9, 75 walk per 9. Has a 96 2 seam, 82 knuckle curve, 98 4 seam, 90 cutter, and 87 splitter. I think that's a nasty card. And then Mondesi, he's, he's nasty no matter what version you use. Bronze, gold, silver, diamond. Whatever he gets, he's going to be nasty. He has one of those glitchy swings. But this one has 63 contact versus righties, 87 versus lefties, 74 power versus righties, 69 versus lefties. Has gold tier defense, which is good, and 97 speed. So my order, what would be my order? I think, I guess it depends what I get along the way. But I think Alex Reyes is my first choice. Charlie Morton, then either Gary Sanchez or Mondesi and Robles probably would be my last pick. But whenever you get to this point... I would always go with team needs, especially early on in the year. You know, fill the position that you don't have a diamond in. That would be the best move right there. But like I said, my order, 
I'm probably favoring pitcher pitching early on. So I'm going to go with pitching. But that's at level 40. You get a live series gold pick at 45. So that's not bad. You get another one of these flashback and legends pack. Some regular show packs. 65. This is... Oh, these are just the pre-order diamonds. These are the pre-order diamonds. We already saw these. So nothing really special right there. And then a pitcher pack right there. This is the big one. Level 80. 99 Corey Kluber. <laughs> this is the move. This is the move in that first pick. 103 hit per nine, 105 K per nine, 95 walk per nine. Has a 93 sinker, 84 slurve, 91 cutter, 94 fastball, and an 84 changeup. So respectable pitches right there. The slurve is my favorite pitch in the game. I don't know about I don't know about 20, but in previous years, it was my favorite pitch. The slurve and maybe a splitter. You know, those are my two pitches. So if any pitcher has both of those, I'm probably getting him. But this Corey Kluber card looks straight up nasty. A free 99 overall card that you can get. <laughs> Incredible. Then you got 95 Ricky Henderson. 80 contact versus righties. 114 versus lefties. 85 power versus lefties. That's not bad at all. 92 vision. Diamond tier defense. 99 speed. Another good card right here. He's really good against lefties. So... Once again, for team needs, if you get to this point where you need a really good leadoff hitter, Ricky Henderson might be the move. We have a 98 Signature Series Hell Newhauser. So we didn't get this Signature Series last year in 19. But this card looks, <laughs> he looks pretty good just looking at him really quick. 124 stamina, one, 102 hit per nine, 109 K per nine, 70 walk per nine, has a 99 home run per nine. Actually, that doesn't even matter online. But 98 fastball, 77 sweeping curve, 80 changeup. 87 slider in a 96 two seam fastball he's a lefty he looks pretty nice so i don't know i don't think you would choose him over kluber but he still looks like a really good option you have a 95 willie mccovey 98 contact versus righties 81 versus lefties 116 power versus ready 79 versus lefties 88 vision common tier defense kind of sucks but he is the first baseman so i guess that doesn't really matter and a 34 speed but Willie McCovey, solid option right here. And then at 96, Cy Young. 107 hit per nine, 111 K per nine, 96 walk per nine. Has a 93 sinker, 86 slider, 79 fourth ball, and a 94 four seam fastball. So this card is going to be nasty. Fingers is a really solid closing pitching card. He's always been pretty good. So another one I'm looking forward to. You will be able to get all of these at some point. But for the first choice... I think Kluber is the move. Second choice, I'm probably going fingers. Then it's either between Newhauser or Ricky Henderson for three and four. McCovey's probably my last choice. He's probably going to be my last choice, to be honest. But I think the first move is Kluber or fingers. We'll see when we get this next pack. But bronze level 80, you get that right there. At level 85, you get a gold pick. And then the bosses. So you want to keep the bosses in mind when you make previous choices or when you're just grinding in general. Because the bosses, they're 99 overall. They go right into your team. They're probably all really good. So we got 99 Barry Larkin, 113 contact versus righties, 93 versus lefties, 62 power versus righties, 104 versus lefties, diamond tier defense, 86 speed, can only play short. I mean, I mean, he only played short, I think. But uh, I wish he had a secondary. I'm not going to lie. But he still looks really good. Great contact numbers. That power versus lefties is really nice. And 108 vision. I don't know who I'm going to go with yet. But I definitely, I'm definitely intrigued with Barry Larkin. We got 99 prime Reggie Jackson. 110 contact versus righties. 94 versus lefties. 115 power versus righties. 101 versus lefties. 80 vision. Has silver tier defense. 71 speed. Very good outfield option. I mean, not as a fielder, but as a hitter, very good card. Very good card. We have a 99 Ryan Sandberg. Has 104 contact versus righties, 113 versus lefties. 86 power versus righties, 83 versus lefties. 104 vision, diamond tier defense, and 80 speed. Actually, a really good card. Great contact, great power numbers for a second baseman. And he got that diamond tier defense. So this card looks really good. Can play second and third. We have 99 Mini Minoso. Can play all outfield and third base. 114 contact versus righties. 110 versus lefties. 80 power versus righties. 73 versus lefties. 
122 vision, has gold tier defense, 87 speed. Another really nice card. You know, the nice thing about him is he can play outfield and third, so utility in a, in a way. And you can just, you can plug him in in different spots. So I like this Minoso card. And then we have 99 Buster Posey, catcher and first base. 103 contact versus righties, 125 versus lefties. 73 power versus righties, 112 versus lefties. And diamond tier defense, 40 speed. So Posey looks like a really good card. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think this is just a wait and see type of deal. But I think all five of these cards are really good. I'm going to be honest, initially, I probably was going to go with Barry Larkin and then Reggie Jackson, Minnie Minoso, and then pick Sandberg or Posey as my last two. But I don't know. Like I said, it's probably a wait and see. You know, we'll see what diamonds we have on our team when we get to Silver 1, which is basically Bronze 100. And then we'll go from there. But looks like at Silver 10, we get another Evolution Pack. And then we, we already know what these are. Classic Pack right here. So you get another one of these Classics at level 25 for Silver. High Diamond at level 40. Okay. So you have Bronze level 80. And then, yo, I'm out of breath. You have Bronze level 80 and then Silver level 40 to make these two picks. Not that big of a difference. So I probably would go starter, pitcher, Kluber, and then fingers as the level 40. You have the pre-order packs right here. Some unlockables, which is this regular stuff. Gear up choice pack. You get another one of these legacy guys. So you can get all of them, it looks like, which is not bad. Probably would go with Griffey or Harper since we ended up getting Judge as our initial pre-order. Then some more legends. And then once you get to gold level one, you make your other pick. So that's not bad right there. I'm still trying to think what I want to do, but I'm probably going to go I'm probably going to go Larkin, I think. You know, I don't think there's going to be that many diamond shortstops. It also depends what you do with like team affinities, what else you're grinding with what other diamonds you end up getting. That all comes into play when you're making that choice. I didn't mean to go back. But like last year, I went Joe Morgan first cuz I knew there wasn't that many diamond second basemen. At the start. So gold level. Looks like you get another classic right there at gold 40. You get that high diamond at level 60. So that's a big, big difference right there. And that would be your third one right there. And then that's the pre-order pack. Your other legacy pack. Diamond level 1. You get your third one of these. So this is where it probably gets interesting. The diamond stage. You get one more evolution pack. You get a classic you get a classic player right there. So that's what the third one, I believe. One, two, three. I think that's the third. Maybe it's the fourth. Maybe it's the fourth. You get a diamond at level 40. So that other high diamond, that's the fourth one you choose. Another pre-order. Some more show packs. The last diamond you get is diamond level 70. Like I said, my last one is probably McCovey. So we'll go with him there. And then this is actually pretty big. Level 85, you get a Diamond Live Series. It's a choice pack. This could actually be a problem too. Because if it's a choice pack and you already have maybe locked in a diamond, you're getting a duplicate and you can't even quick sell it. <laughs> you can't even quick sell it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just grinding to Diamond Level 100 before I lock any diamonds in. Or maybe even pick up a diamond. I got to see how long this takes. It probably will take a while, but getting a free diamond, if you happen to get Trout in one of these, that would be pretty big. It would be nice if they know what diamonds you already locked in, so you can't get a duplicate diamond. Because like I said, if you already locked in diamonds and you get a duplicate, that kind of sucks. You can't really do anything with that, but hopefully that's not the case. And then level 95, you get a diamond gear up choice pack. Is this the only diamond? I got to double check, but 99 or diamond level 100 you get your last two of these so xp reward path definitely looks pretty nice let me look at that gear up choice pack stuff so you do get a diamond right there diamond equipment is pretty expensive early on and i think that's the only time you get oh actually get you get a couple you get a couple so yeah that's pretty nice right there oh you get a lot actually you get a lot of diamonds so yeah this is a big this is a big stub maker the XP reward path is a huge stub maker. I don't remember how much it was last year. I mean, I'm not going to tally all this up right now, but you make like 200k in stubs, I believe. So it's definitely worth it. 
just playing the game, doing collections, locking in cards, they're going to get you XP, and that's what you want to do. So just example, like these collections right here, we, we went over it, but actually Mickey, Mickey Mantle is expensive. But for these, like you definitely want to collect 10 for each team, get all the common players, then get all the bronze players, collect 20. That XP adds up, and you're going to level up like crazy just doing all that. And then other collections right here, just the starter ones. You know, you want to do all these, get these XPs, get those out of the way. But yeah, you know, do all of these. All of these end up giving you XP and stubs. So you definitely want to do that and work your way towards, you know, completing all collections and just playing the game, grinding out the game and getting all that done. So yeah, that, that's the XP reward path. I think there's a lot of good rewards in there, a lot of solid diamonds, and we're going to get grinding right now try to get all of those all of those get diamond level 100 as soon as possible and get stuff done but like i said collections co getting collections done gets you a good amount of xp doing moments showdown just playing the game in general you want to get xp and you want to do the stuff that gets you xp so once i actually start playing we'll see where you get the most xp from and then we'll probably make another video giving you guys that those tips and stuff like that but that's going to do it for this. Let me know what you guys think about the XP reward path. Let me know which diamonds you guys are looking at. Because all of them look pretty nice in my opinion. So we're going to see which ones we end up taking when we get to that point. Hopefully we get our first one. <laughs> Honestly, I want it by like the end of the week. So not, not this week. But next Friday, hopefully we're level 100 and we get one of these players. So let me know who you guys are thinking about taking. Once again, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.